G'day everyone, thanks for joining me, I'm Raid Zero AU and welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival in Alpha 11. And um, today I figured I want to do something about a small vessel. I also want to deal with that bug over there. We do need to go to space, but I think first of all, what I want to do is I want to have another go at this atmospheric flight. Mushrooms. Okay. Pick you up. And we can chuck that in the fridge. So I had a bit of a go with it in the experimental build, but nothing really after that. So let's go to our project box. I've made a number of things here. I'm just going to make a very basic. Oh, where's me? Uh... Oh, there it is. Project box, Let's just link here. Okay, it's better. So, I'm going to try using some modular wings and things like that. Just going to generate a fuel tank. I do want an oxygen tank only because. The cockpits are sealed, so we've got various things. I've only got two thrusters. So no idea how this is gonna go. And we've got this bug again, which is really annoying. Now do I want to try something very Pop that in for now. Try something fairly thin and then we are going to need a bit of ammo, but I'm just going to bring that back there for now. I think what we want to do is we want to just start to bring these out a little bit. Not much. Not bad. Yeah, something like that. And then what we can do is we can start to put in What's that. There's that. Oxygen. Uh, we're going to want a wireless. Because we do want a little bit of uh, ammo. 
Uh, we're going to want a detector. Grab this now. Detector. We're not going to have a lot of ammo. Maybe just a little bit. Just in case we come across any drones. Okay. Just gonna bring that back. Bring that back. We pop you in there. That one would then go there. Normally you'd use then that one. Maybe we don't use that one. Maybe we use it there instead. pop that one in we could do something like that uh, that one and then that should allow us to put That one, is it? Go here. Uh, these ones. I think it's pretty sure it's that one. All about that one. Actually, going to get rid of one of these. Part of the reason being, I want to get rid of some of this down here. So, to be able to do that, what we're going to need. Into our large constructor, and we're going to want another core. To be honest, I think I want to take the whole lot of that out. And then we can put... Of 
core in there. Hmm. Another thing I want to have a look at is not that. Let's get rid of some of this. We may well keep some of it. Hmm, haven't quite decided yet. the wrong ones didn't have it on the square ones bring that out we do down here all right, first thing we want to do is we want to put that core back in. Uh, let's go to put, there it is. All right, you can go in there. That's mainly just to protect it from the ground more than anything else. And then I think what we'll do I'm gonna put those ones in. Now that actually juts out, doesn't it? It's maybe what we want to do. It's a bit hard to see because of this glitch. Is maybe take that back one. And then we can pop these in. Followed by these ones. then on the side here we should be able to put that in and pop that in followed by that one and that one I reckon one and that one okay right let's have a look at these modular wings so what we want with these swept large tight 
tapered deltas. Probably just mediums, I would think. Something like that. And can we put... These on the ends. And the answer to that is yes. But the only concern I've got is turning and things like that. Are we actually going to be able to turn this thing? That was the issue that I that I had previously. But I'm wondering if by putting those engines at the back there. If that would just help with that okay at the back here we can just uh, we can just seize that off and put some blocks in here now I probably got this all wrong But I'm sure you guys will let me know. Which would be most welcome. Don't get me wrong. I like the feedback. I'm no expert. Right there. There. Now the reason I'm doing this one is basically I just want a very simple craft to be able to map out the planet. To be honest, it'd be nice if I could. And also, I'm all, I'm forever intrigued about the fact that they they claimed that you can you can create a uh, a vehicle with no RCS and just rear facing thrusters. So, all right, well, that kind of works. Got a little bit of a thing there, but that's okay. You can deal with that. Um, okay, other thing I would like to have on it is a Gatling gun. I don't know if we're going to be able to put a spotlight on it. Gatling gun. Trouble is that basically it's... Um, unless we put one down each side. Hmm. What if we get rid of one on that one and then we fit that in there and then we pop in one of these if we did that on the other side as well that might well work Make me another one. How are we going for CPU? That's the other question. We're all right with CPU. How many spotlights did I make?
We only made one. Let's make ourselves a second one. Uh, constructor output. Right, it's not quite there yet. But what we need to do is take that one out, take that one out, and that one. And pop that one in. Okay, it's that. We've got two spotlights. Okay. I want that. These are different. I guess it doesn't really matter at this stage. Basically, that can just come out. But yeah, we put two different ones in there. Put one right. That one. That might be the one. That's a bit better. And then what we can do is... Those in those ones. Back to our project box because that's where a lot of these will have gone back to. Yeah, I don't like those. There. Maybe take those away. Pop a light in there. Pop a light in there. We could still use I've got a couple more of these. So put one down there. One down there. All right. There's only one way to find out if this thing's going to work. Get rid of our. Yeah. Fuel. Let's 
grab a bit of fuel from there I'm gonna grab just a little bit of ammo from here let me just grab the 900 okay okay right we are running that didn't work did it we can lift up trouble going down we can turn it's very very sluggish What happens if we just put an RCS in? Don't worry about anything else. Because that is very slow turning. But I suppose technically it does work. And we can tilt up and we can tilt down just. I'd have to say it doesn't feel great. in for a hard landing oh uh, just for testing purposes let's give it a go with an RCS in there as well and just see what difference that makes we've got plenty of CPU left now have I got an RCS don't know that I've built one uh, base project box there's no RCS's in there Nope, so we might have to just make one uh, I've got my two survival constructors out here I went out and grabbed a whole heap more stones so we've got a lot more concrete blocks so I can get stuck into this uh, constructor uh, ooh, doo -doo -doo, there it is just make me an RCS. I just want to just test that without putting any more thrusters on it. It'll just be interesting to see how that affects turning, considering that we have no thrust, no sideways thrust or anything like that. Uh, also, the tilting up and down. So we want to be able to at least move the thing around. So. Uh, there we go. Go there. Right. Uh, for testing purposes, we stick it. Just stick it at the back here. All right. Well, instantly we're able to move on the ground. Whoa. And of course, you got to keep your keep your speed up.
top speed of 70. That does work. Although I'd have to say I'm still not convinced with this atmospheric flight. Oh. It's a bit janky, I'd have to say. I think, as I said in a video that I made with the uh, experimental branch, I'm quite sure what they're uh, trying to achieve with it. Just seems a bit odd. All right. Well, it works. As I said, I'm still not convinced. I think I'm inclined to still want to use the old method of um, have some downward facing thrusters. Uh, and we can just adjust this one, to be honest. We can stick a downward thrust, downward thruster there. Downward thruster there. We could probably pop one back here somewhere underneath one of these, one of these. A um, couple of sideways ones here. Would probably work. We could even put the sideways ones like inside here at the top. Pop those there. So sideways, we need some upwards facing ones. We can pop those in there. So, and we need some forward facing ones. So forward, up, mm. you can go side, because you probably want two sideways. Maybe we'll try one to start off with. Maybe do the sideways ones there. Up there. Oh, sorry, down. All right, pushing down. And then that leaves a spot here or here where we could put some more sideways ones if we wanted to. And they could just be on the inside, it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. Um, and next episode, I think it'll be what we'll do is we will adjust this just to um, to put some more thrusters in it. Go back to just the standard way of of doing it. Not too sure about having these thrusters here either. I might move those back here. Uh, and the RCS probably needs to be moved as well. So I might need to extend the back here just by a block or something like that so I can cover that over. Also, if we're going into space, we'd like to have a uh, oxygen um, station. But I'll have a think about that. Hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.